All right, so today I have a pretty simple little nymph pattern called a Frenchie that I'm tying. This particular one is going to be olive in color with an orange hot spot. So I'm going to work my thread all the way back to just before the bend of this hook, and that's going to be my tying location for all my materials. I'm going to start out by putting in three or four of these olive colored pheasant tail fibers. And pheasant tail likes to kind of pull with the thread. So I'm gonna start these towards me. And as I make my first wrap, you'll probably see them get pulled right up on top, just like that. Okay, so I'm going to adjust them and get them exactly where I want them in place. And make a couple more wraps there very quick to lock that material exactly where I want it. And I want this tail to come directly off of the shank of the hook. I don't want it to bend at all um, past the bend of the hook. So I'll work that in and I'll tie this all the way up. And you're going to see this be the theme with this fly. I'm gonna work all my materials up towards the bead or towards where I'm gonna put that hot spot in to keep that fly pretty streamlined in nature. Um, this fly has a copper rib, thin copper wire, which I'm gonna tie in right now. And if this fly isn't streamlined, one of the things that you notice are these little lumps when you wrap the wire rib of the copper wire. So. We're gonna do our best to keep everything sitting very nice. As I take these wraps back, the thing that I'm being most aware of is when I approach that tail. If, and you can see it on that one, if I go back too far, it pulls the tail down. So I back it off at that point and know that that's my location to stop. And I don't want the tail to go down. I'm now going to pick up about eight of these olive colored pheasant tail fibers. I'm gonna tie these in tip first. Again, same kind of deal as what I've been doing. And get them all tied into that location. And bring my thread all the way back to the tail. Again, watching that tail if I go too far. And I'm going to work this all the way back up to where I'm going to put that hot spot in eventually. All right, so at this time, I am going to take the pheasant tail fibers and I'm going to work them forward. They are going to be coming over the top and towards me. And then I'm gonna work that copper wire under the bottom and towards me, and I'm gonna use that to trap it in. So, first one's coming over the top, holding them all tightly together so that I can get this nice section of this fly done. You could use a pair of hackle pliers here if you wanted to. I'm just gonna hold them together. And work them forward. Here I'm going to trap this material. I'll put a couple of firm wraps right there before I clip this off. And I'm going to get in and clip off the excess pheasant fiber. And I'll cinch that down. All right, I'm now going to take my copper wire. If you remember, the pheasant tail was over the top and towards me. So this wire is going to be under the bottom and towards me. And all I'm trying to do with this wire is keep the wraps symmetrical as I go forward. And this wire is pretty forgiving. So if you make a mistake here, just unwrap it and start over. that 
it all the way up to the bead. And here I'm gonna make again some pretty firm wraps onto the wire. Once I do that, I'm gonna helicopter this wire out of here. So you'll see some people will clip it off at that point. I like to helicopter it out. Um, when you helicopter the wire, you're not left with a sharp point where you cut it out from. So something there that I think helps. All right, now for the hot spot of this fly, I have a little blend of dubbing that I put together, which is a little sulfur orange mixed with some prism shrimp pink. So it gives it a little hot spot. It also gives it a little bit of flash on this fly. So we'll put this dubbing on this thread quick. And we'll dub the top section of this fly. the hot spot right up to behind the bead. Okay, it's at this point where if you have any excess dubbing, you can get rid of that. I'll clip some of that out at the end. And I'm gonna hit this with whip finish. If you want to put drop a zap a gap or however you finish flies off, you can do that at this point too. And we'll clip off that thread. And I'm also going to clip off some of that excess dubbing that's hanging down. I'm going to play this out just a little bit. And there you have it, olive colored Frenchie. Clean that up just a little bit more. That's it.